Dude, are, but, you, are you being are you being serious right now? Like, you hundred percent serious. There is something on the trailer that's not just a tire, and it's something that I'm pretty sure you're gonna want. Okay. I'm pretty sure you're gonna want. Oh come on, dude! <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Look what I found you. <laughs> How'd Demons you, passed. How'd you find that? Welcome to the shop. I'm Jared, and this is Wrench Every Day. So behind me, we've got my uh, Nissan Titan hooked up to the uh, trailer Tavares used to pull the famous Fast and the Furious 8 Murcielago back from uh, California. Um, I've got the trailer here at Site B because I recently brought Earl back to the shop in Georgia so I can uh, work on it while I'm here. I'm getting ready to head back down to uh, Florida for a special project that's uh, getting ready to be filmed and it's a waste to pull an empty trailer that far. I am supposed to be the voice of reason keeping us from getting too many extra projects but every once in a while a chance comes along to uh, pick a car up that you just can't say no to. Um, this car isn't for me, it's for the guy who probably doesn't need that many more cars, uh, good old Tavarish. But uh, it's one from his past. It spoke a lot to, uh, I, I guess, building his roots as far as car customization that he gave up, uh, I think, just over two years ago that suddenly was offered back for sale. And I kind of want to surprise him with it since I shot down uh, that Lexus GS that he was really excited about, and I just wanted the engine for Earl. So we're going to cut up. Uh, I'm going to take about an hour road trip go find this car and we'll pick you up uh, just a little bit so I can uh, show you what I'm getting ready to surprise uh, Tavarsh with. All right, we've made it to Freddy's car. Some of you might uh, remember it. This is my first time seeing it in person, and uh, yeah, it's uh, everything 19-year-old Freddy would build. You've got to buy him his car back that has his face on it. Now, the only way I was able to uh, make uh, this happen is thanks to our video sponsor, Cove Audio. Now, Cove's been a longtime supporter of the Wrench Everyday channel, and you frequently see their products in the background of our videos. We really do use them, and today we get to share with you the really cool new Commuter 2 Bluetooth stereo speaker system. Still able to fit in a cup holder, the Commuter 2 has a new trick that's really great for filling up a car or uh, the audio space of a workshop. You're able to actually break this into two pieces by turning it and then set them in two different areas, providing you with great 360 degree audio. The Commuter 2 has these beautiful Cove logos and a brushed finish on the subwoofers that are always kind of fun to just watch doing their thing as you're playing your music. They connect using Bluetooth 4.2, operates for around five hours on a single charge. You can have your phone, tablet, whatever you're using to broadcast to these speakers almost 30 feet away, allowing you to be next to a hot tub, swimming pool, any type of water source, utilizing their IPX7 water resistance rating. And while you're playing your music, if you get a phone call, these have built-in microphones, again, allowing you to keep your phone and broadcasting device safe and have these right next to you wherever you're working. And by going to coveaudio.com slash wrench60, you can save over 60% and get yourself your own Commuter 2 Bluetooth stereo speaker system. Check it out right now, link in the description below. Some of you who have been around for a while, a little over two years ago, would remember Austin. Yep. What has changed in uh, this masterpiece since you've purchased it? So in the two years I've had this, I've done almost nothing. When I got it from Freddy, it didn't work. Um, it, it wouldn't turn over. Pretty much the only thing that was wrong with it is the spark plugs were fouled. The only other thing I've done is change the lock cylinder and um, kept it in all its Tavarish glory. Yeah. This is a new feature of the vehicle. It is prepared for always raining. Those won't turn off. Um, it is idling very nicely, so we'll be able to load it up. Um, I took a small sneak peek, because one of the things I wanted to do is see how did 19-year-old uh, Freddy build a car? And some of it's really kind of scary, so this is gonna be fun to uh, go through. And uh, so, is that an air scoop? Headlight? Yes. Oh, so wow. Th th this is something that, um, that Freddie supplied with the car. I mean, 
it's it, a race car. You've got to have, actually, that's not bad. I, it, my favorite is the, um, the aluminum duct tape. Well, I mean, you've got to seal it up somehow. So, I mean, for his car audio, there is a circuit breaker. We have a uh, ground kill switch, not a power kill switch. Also a power kill switch. Well, yeah. Well, that's, oh, that's actually going to the front. I thought that was just for his car audio. No, so. that's going to the front. Okay, so circuit breaker, breaker kill switch. So we'll... I actually kind of dig the paint. Like, it makes it look ridiculous. So, some of the backstory is Freddie bought this as an empty shell for $400, I think it was, out of a shop's, you know, backyard. They were trying to get rid of it. And he slowly built it, did the 1JZ swap. Show here. So, that's the 2.5 liter twin turbo. The uh, Fast and the Furious Paul Walker Gretty blow off valve, an actual Gretty. Not a Freddy, which is impressive. The wiring also was upgraded. It didn't have fan controls, so Austin added that switch, so <laughs> it can idle for a little while and do uh, some drives. The intercooler piping is coming apart. You know, the couplers are failing. It's all kind of stuff you'd expect to see uh, on a 19-year-old's uh, build budget. So what do you think Freddy's gonna say when he sees this thing back? I think he's gonna be shocked. I mean, I, when he gave it to me, he didn't expect to ever get it back, and I, I think he'll do some amazing things with it. Do you think he might be upset that I brought it back? Oh, 100%. It, it, no one wants this car. I don't know. I, I like it. I, I would take it. I'd learn to slide at this, you know? like. T t take a look at the rear wheels. Oh, yeah. So there's been a lot of sliding happening. Uh, that's definitely past their uh, optimum traction point. Let's get this thing on a trailer. Take it back uh, up towards my home for a little bit. I mean, it still even has the New Jersey. Uh, I, I, I love the New Jersey plate on it. Just, just so that way it, yeah. it's true to uh, its extreme roots. So I never got pulled over in it with an expired plate. I mean, there's no sticker, so how do you know it's expired, right? Exactly. So, <laughs> all right. So we're gonna put this on the trailer. We'll cut to another little time lapse of uh, road trip, and I've got to figure out if I'm gonna clean it for Freddie. I mean, I might have to ask him. That may be what Freddie is. We've made it to the main shop here in Florida. That was some uh, fun traffic. Car is still intact. So let's go in and uh, looks like we've got several people here. I know that's Rex the detailer. We actually have an Andrew. That's what he drove here uh, today, that beautiful green vehicle. So we got Andrew inside. Of course, we're gonna have Tavarish. So. Right. Freddy. Hey, Hello. I made it. Are we doing a thing? Yeah, we're doing a thing. Okay. I got your present. What do you mean? Remember how your trailer needed tires? Yeah. When I brought, I got new tires on it, okay. all five. Yeah, yeah, so what, one was like flat or something? Yeah, it kept going flat, but I gave him your credit card, so. Well, you, don't, you don't have my credit card. I remembered the number. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> so I have that number. So okay. I, I bought you five tires with your money, but there's something else. Okay, all you, right. You can't bring an empty trailer, right, Andrew? Did you really, br oh, did you really bring her something? Yeah, there's there's something on the trailer. Really? Really. Can I look? Yeah, let's go. I wanna see that. Are you, like, okay, so. No, there really is something, and this isn't like the burnt super you bought me. 
Remember that burnt super that he bought me, are, then are sold you, me. Dude, are, but, are, you, are you being are you being serious right now? Like you, you have hundred percent serious. There is something on the trailer that's not just a tire, and it's something that I'm pretty sure you're gonna want. Okay. I'm pretty sure you're gonna want. Oh come on, dude! <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Look what I found you. <laughs> Demons you, past. How'd you find that? It wasn't that hard. It it was the same guy. He, he, oh my god. What do you think? That's a nice spray paint collection, man. <laughs> oh my. It, <laughs> <laughs> it looks just like. Oh boy. Oh. Do you, do you like the how I held the bumper on? Is oh. So, okay. I got this car when I was like 19. I could tell by the build quality. Oh. <laughs> All, all the all the bad stuff was not my fault. So that's not <laughs> bad, bad stuff. I don't see anything bad here. No. This what, is... what do you think of the hood? Uh. So. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> when were you in GQ? What is this photo from? This uh, reference photo. So uh, I did not ask to put my face on that hood. Well, dude, I am I am like, I am shocked. I am absolute like this is this is crazy. Also, this paint has not fared very well. No, I I actually remember your old video of the the cancer. It's it's gotten a lot worse. Well, this is just regular spray paint that you would put on a like a brick wall or something. So that's probably why it's there's not. Okay. Oh, it, it's better. Yeah, here. <gasps> oh no. <laughs> So it hasn't been registered in 10 years. Yeah, that, that's your, well, so it, it spent two years in Georgia with Austin. It has been driven to car shows and I think you're gonna really like what you're gonna find on the back of the car. So did, you, did you get it from Austin? Yeah. Okay. But do you notice it still has your... Oh, <laughs> okay. So if you've been getting tickets in the mail, that's why. I think I might have gotten a ticket in the mail. <laughs> well, I think I might have actually gotten a ticket in the mail. I, I remember you... I was... I was there for that, man. Yeah, I guess... <laughs> you, you, you had to, like, haul in... Austin, I mean, that. listen. You gotta... You probably owe me some money, but... Uh, <laughs> wow. So what do you think? This is the greatest gift that anybody has ever given me. Really? Ever. Yes. Ever? Yes, ever. It's a tight squeeze, but it is pretty much why are, as... Why are there so many... There's like Coca-Cola cans and there's an exhaust in there. Why is there an exhaust in there? That's not for this car. Um, I don't know. I just took it as everything was. Why are there racing seats in there? This is a Lexus. Oh. Listen, ask the ISF. Oh my god. Lexus gosh. can be race cars. Sure, but an <laughs> ISF, this is very obviously <laughs> not. Also, uh, I used to have a fire extinguisher in here. Uh, so, where's the fire extinguisher? Did it, did it need to get used? Possibly. Um, I think oh, the dude. fans have been upgraded to an actual switch instead of just wires that you plug in. I had it on a relay. Oh no, there's a little uh, toggle switch that overheats if you leave them on too long. Oh good. Because it's not designed for that much current. Um, he was duct taping the bumper, so I upgraded it to a ratchet strap. That's just for parking though. You're not gonna be able to go down the street. Emphasis on ratchet. Dude, I can't believe you got, I can't <laughs> believe you got this. So, I know, I, I even told him already, I'm supposed to be the guy getting rid of projects and getting them done, but like I said, it has your face on it. It had to come back to you. So what, I mean, realistically, what can we do with this thing? So, I think we should do an episode going over what 19 year old you did. Oh, we have a cameraman, look at that. Well, you should probably stand a little closer yeah. because the, the microphone doesn't doesn't go very far. Yeah. Wait, what? Oh, here. Oh, okay, there, here. We there, there we go, there we go. Here, yeah. wait, there, so that way you can and then frame us. And the sun, the sun. Oh. Here we go. Yeah, right, right in it. So I think on the first episode uh, should be what task Freddy did. Like, just go over the car front to back. Well, I can tell you uh, a, a ton about what past Freddy didn't do because uh, that entire interior is like taken apart and I didn't do that. This car was together when I, when I gave it to him. Well, it didn't have door panels. It also didn't have dead roaches inside, so. Well, it probably also didn't have the inches of pine straw. But I think it'd be fun to let's go through and find, you know, 
things you do as a teenager with no money versus the right way of doing it, then I think we should fix Did it. Did you see these tires? Oh yeah, they're really bad. Did they're you re see these tires? <laughs> oh boy. No, look at the inner cord. Like you can actually see the cord. <gasps> you can see the cord. It's how to build a tire 101. That's fine. That's fine. This is fine. This is uh, but I think we should fix it. Oh. Like, so it doesn't, it, it kind of ran and then quit running. Um, I don't, know, I don't, I don't see how this thing runs at all. So at all. I say we tune it up, get it running, fix it. Um, we have a friend with a racetrack now. Oh yeah, that's true. We're going to have running Earl soon. Okay. So we both have something to take to play. Okay. Yeah. Right. Or, or whatever you want to do with it. I mean, you can just daily this. I'm not yeah, gonna yeah, do that. Freddy, Freddy, <laughs> please, <laughs> daily please that. daily this. No, I'm not. Please gonna, daily this. I'm not going to daily this, but this, dude, this. Thank, thank you so. Uh, much. Thank you so much, man. Aww. Uh, Aww. This gives you something to wrench while I'm at Site B wrenching. You know. Oh, because I, I don't have any you projects don't have to do. Anything to do I don't in have there. anything to do. But uh, so uh, this has been wrench every day. I'm gonna remind you to always make questionable choices and. And, and surprise your friends with cars. Yes, that's what you should do. Surprise your friends with And don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe. And, and wear, and wear and pit then, vipers all the time. And, Link in the description below. <laughs> so bonus time. Yeah. We, we just put a battery in it. So trying to load it was a nightmare. One, at his house, I had to be careful filming because I couldn't show the fun of loading it, but it kept dying. So we just put a fresh battery in it and it's back running really good. How's it feel? That, that looks like a comfortable place to be. It, it, it is. So, <laughs> so the headliner just cradles your, your head. So that fell down, I think, in transport because that was up when we left Georgia. Okay. Well, here, why don't you? Dude, everything, everything has to get, everything has to get redone. I mean, it looks like a hyena went through here. I don't want to touch it too much because, uh, I think I'm, I'm gonna get coronavirus. <laughs> Listen, this, this isn't a Mexican beer. <laughs> right. Now you gotta drive it around the parking lot. I'm not gonna drive it around the parking lot. This thing is gonna catch and in, burst into flames. Okay, well, so I'm just gonna put it in the garage and then we'll see. You're gonna put it right next to something more expensive to catch fire next to? Yeah. It runs pretty stinking good. Man. Yeah, idle's nice. That takes me back. 10 year old Freddy. Or ten year ago, Freddy. All right. Listen, it's ridiculous. Oh, these, there's no, the brakes are just not there. Oh, hold on, the clutch also. Oh yeah, the clutch is right at the really weird spot on the bottom. So this is an RPS Max uh, clutch. How about we take this for car trek instead? No. Are you sure? Yeah. Listen, it only has half the cylinders of your other car. Oh my god, I can't. I can't, I need to see. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> I literally can't see anything. Oh yeah, you got a headliner in the way. I could help direct you, but I'm just let, gonna let you go for it. And he said he drove it like this? Uh, yeah, to uh, caffeine and octane multiple times. Oh my God. Enough to get you some tickets. <laughs>